Hey guys, it's Stacy from My Petite Garden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a little bit of a haul video for you. Uh, I recently purchased a few plants. I went to a local orchid festival here. It was held in the beginning of June and I was able to stop by, check it out, and I picked up some orchids for myself and also for my dad. I no longer have the orchids that I got for my dad, but if I have pictures, I will insert them because uh, so, he already picked them up. And then I also ordered, I believe, one plant online. I haven't ordered plants in such a long time. I haven't bought plants in such a long time. So it was nice to have some new additions. I am completely new to orchids and growing orchids. My dad, however, he's um, he's been growing orchids for a very, very long time. I never thought that I would be someone that would be into orchids, but I am slowly finding myself more and more intrigued with them and I want to learn and hopefully I'll be able to keep the ones that I did get alive and happy. <laughs> so yeah. And then I also uh, ordered some pottery, uh, terracotta pots, of course. So I wanted to share that with you guys too. All right, so before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you again for watching this video. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you want more regular content, please feel free to follow me on my Instagram at my petite garden. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I have some um, unboxing to do. I ordered some pottery, so a, he was having a kind of like a, a sale on his Instagram stories, so I was glad I caught it um, because he was selling these for cheaper than what you would normally find them when he drops. Let's open it up together. I think there are supposed to be a total of six pots and these are all his step pots so this one so these are all kind of like um, there's some flaws to them and that's why he was selling them for cheap um, on his Instagram stories okay. there's I believe these are the same these are I I think his steps planters. They're all just terracotta. There might be one more here. I will definitely do a B row with better lighting. Sorry, this is such bad lighting. <laughs> Second box. Um, I believe these are all four inch, three inch. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. Yeah. I don't remember if they were all the same color or not. Oh, no. This one's a little, a little bit darker, but well, like you can see. Sorry. That. There's one more. That. Here's the last one. I love these planters. Let me show you guys the one that I have potted up um, when I first got these. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. So this is the one that I've been using. I've had this one for, I don't know, maybe a year or two now. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's so adorable. My plants love it. Yeah, so it's super cute. <laughs> so I'm very happy with these. Um, I believe he does drops now. I mean, back then I know his site is always stocked. Um, I'm not sure if it is now or not. Um, it's been a while since I've checked it out. 
but if you guys follow him on Instagram at Front Range Clay, I believe. If not, I'll put the name on the screen. He'll have updates and stuff for when he will have um, more pots available. So that's my little pottery haul. So now I'm gonna show you guys the plant haul. I I'm gonna start with the orchids that I got at the orchid festival that happened recently. Um, it's been two weeks or so now since I got these plants, so some of the blooms are on its way out. And um, I wish I had done this sooner, but it was just so busy. And we actually just got back from a wedding out of town, so I finally now have time to film the actual haul. So the first one I want to show you guys is this gorgeous baby. Look at her. The blooms are gorgeous. It's it's not at its prime anymore, but it is still very beautiful. This is a Vanda. And let me get the name. This is a Vanda Neo. Oh, I think it was a Neo Phoenicia. Um, but then I think I got reclassed to a Vanda. And it's called a Dr. Judy. The vendor basically who sold me this had mentioned to me that this orchid recently got named officially so it's called dr judy and it is absolutely beautiful oh flowers smell great and i love the structure of the foliage if you guys can see it like it looks like a fan isn't that beautiful yeah i think it's gorgeous There's that. And then I also picked up this one here. So this is a little bit different. You can see the the structure of the leaves are very how uh, much like it's braided and I thought that's so beautiful yeah, it reminds me a lot of Hupergia and the tassel ferns this one is from um, Peru it's an export so I think it's going to take a little bit of time to acclimate and, and such so this is a I'm not even going to try but this is the name when it's blooming this is how the blooms look like so they have photos of the blooms. Yeah. And then from the same Peru vendor, I also picked up I also picked up this one, which I think looks so funky. I love the succulent, really succulent ones. If you guys can't tell. This is dry, I actually have to water it. So this is the name of this one and the blooms look like this. Yeah. yeah. I haven't repotted any of these, I haven't touched them. I just wanted to give them time to acclimate. Some of them, they told me it doesn't need to be repotted until maybe a year from now. Yeah, okay. So then here is the next one. This one is one of my favorites. It smells so good. But look at that bloom, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? It smells, it smells, like jasmine or gardenias or something like that very pleasant smelling and i have more blooms over here um so this one is a brassavola nodosa i'll put the name on the screen for you guys because i don't want to take the tag out it's really hard to put back in <laughs> so yeah this one is doing really nicely I just have it. I just slipped it into this terracotta pot. I haven't done anything with it. 
And the foliage is really nice. It's really nice and succulent. Okay. And then, speaking of Brasavola, I have Brasavola yellow bird, which is really tall. So the blooms over here, the blooms haven't opened up yet, but I believe they are yellow, as the name suggests. And they look very similar to those blooms. But just imagine it yellow. Or, I, you know what, I'll put a picture of the blooms on the screen. Um, but I love the foliage. I think it's so pretty. So when I buy orchids, I tend to lean towards orchids that can still have some sort of interest to me, even when it's not in bloom. Um, I know a lot of orchids, they look identical in terms of foliage. And I was just making sure that I purchased the ones that I know I don't mind looking at it even if it's just the foliage you know what I mean because for most of the time I'm gonna assume it's not gonna be in bloom unless it does bloom a lot then that'll be great but if it doesn't at least I'll have the little foliage to look at you know so we have that one Oop. and then the last orchid that I got for myself at least is this one <laughs> unfortunately the plumes are gone but i do have photos of it so i'll put a picture up um so i didn't get a chance to record this before the bloom started going but i love the foliage on this look at that so this is a a neo phoenicia yeah. Kinrukaku. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it smells really nice. Okay, guys, so the last plant I want to show you guys is this Madagascar jasmine. Um, it's a variegated one. So I've been on the hunt for a regular Madagascar jasmine, um, just a green version, um, for a while now. I saw it last year at Trader Joe's, a good sizable one, and I didn't get it, so I've been kind of thinking about it ever since. I don't know if Trader Joe's is ever going to have it again, but ordering the regular green one online after seeing the one at Trader Joe's and the price it was being sold for, I just couldn't bring myself to order the plant online. But when I saw the variegated version of it, I was like, oh, that is different. This one I can get behind ordering online. So I ordered this and it is absolutely beautiful. I love the jasmine scent, so I can't wait for this to actually start blooming. But you know, it's still very tiny, so I'm going to be patient <laughs> with this. But look at that. I just have it under some grow lights right now and it's adjusting pretty well to my home. I received this um, maybe a few weeks to a month ago. I don't remember exactly, but it's doing really well. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that. And please remember, if you guys are... Um, orchid growers or if you are into orchids yourself feel free to leave me any tips comments um, any advice that you may have in regards to growing orchids indoors so yeah all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye